All right, let's turn to movies. Uh, he watches the bad ones so that you don't have to. It's our friend and film critic, Richard <laughs> Roper. Happy holidays, Rich. Good to see you guys. Good stuff coming up this weekend. Uh, yeah. Biggest movie of the decade. Yeah, well, what is that? What movie could That's that be? It's called uh, uh, Drink Some Water, the <laughs> I've Avatar been, Way. I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, hard to believe. It's been 13 mm -hmm. years since Avatar came out. It's the highest grossing movie of all time, and now, finally, the sequel is here. Let's take a look at Avatar, The Way of Water. Has to be a spend, Rich. Has to be. It is a spend. Um, you see, the visuals are amazing. So it's like a 10 for the visuals and a 6 for the storyline, which is kind of corny. But you mentioned 13 years, Ryan. It took them three years to make this and almost $300 million because they do live action, then motion capture, then special effects, and all the actors had to learn how to hold their breath and swim. So there's, a, there's this huge thing. And, and it's basically a story we've seen a million times before about a, a, a family trying to protect itself from outside forces. We've seen that. But you're not really here for, like, Shakespeare. You're here to see all the amazing stuff. It's over three hours, and I can say this. It really goes by pretty fast. <laughs> oh, it, it does. It really does, because there's always something new in the visuals. Now, you might have the way of water halfway through and have to go to the bathroom, and that's fine. <laughs> James Cameron has actually given his blessing. He says, go to the bathroom. You'll, there's going to be more movie waiting for you when you come out. I heard about that. All <laughs> right. Well, that's a big spin. Yeah. Brendan Fraser is making his Hollywood comeback alongside Stranger Things actress Sadie Sink. He plays a reclusive English teacher trying to reconnect with his estranged daughter. This is The Whale. Do you forget the feeling? People are incapable of not caring. People are amazing. Wow, Rich, what are we doing with this one? Spending this is a huge spend. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk about this role because Brendan Fraser did not put on all that weight. Obviously, he's wearing prosthetics, and some people are saying, you know, they oh. should have gotten a plus side person to play the role. I think that's part of acting makeup yes. and things like that. And it's a beautiful story. It's sometimes enormously sad, at other times incredibly uplifting. We should mention, it actually comes to Chicago theaters in a few days after this weekend, but I wanted to get this in, guys, because this is one of my very favorite movies of the year. A surefire Oscar nomination for Brendan Fraser. Yeah, big comeback story for him. I'm yeah. seeing it at some of the film festivals. He's getting like four minutes standing ovation. He's such a, a likable, beloved guy, and he's kind of been out of the spotlight for a while. Right. He was a big star in the early 2000s, and it's just, it's a, I think it's the perfect role for him because right. he just brings such empathy to that character. Mm. All right. Well, next up, Hugh Jackman stars in The Sun. He plays a father whose life is thrown into disarray when his ex-wife turns up with her teenage son. Rich, what did you think about this one? Yeah, Hugh Jackman's great in this and might get an Oscar nomination. I wasn't a huge fan of the film. I should mention, too, this just happened. They just pushed this release of this back a few weeks, so if you're looking for it in theaters, you won't find it right now, but yeah. it's been playing at a bunch of the festivals, so it's, it's out there pretty much, but a little bit disappointing, guys. Okay, mm. well, let's Thing about this one. Finally, Who Killed Santa is a Netflix <laughs> holiday special for Will Arnett's newest crime comedy, Murderville. Rich, is this a spend or a save? This is a spend. This is almost all improv, and Maya Rudolph and Jason Bateman join Will Arnett, and you kind of play along with them and try to figure out who killed Santa with a giant candy cane. By oh the way. my goodness! So dark. Funny, clever, <laughs> kind of like a long SNL skit, basically. Yeah, are kids going to enjoy that? <laughs> sure, why not? They've seen it all these days. I don't want to traumatize any kids. <laughs> nah, they're fine. They'll all be right. good. I'm sure Santa's fine. Kids too. will be fine. All right, thanks, Rich. <laughs> hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.